Uh, this is Dan here with Ozark Radio News, and I'm here talking with Cody Sanders. Uh, obviously, we have had an, a, a, an incident happen here, uh, the fire that has kind of knocked out a good portion of power in the city of West Plains. Uh, about when did this happen, or, and what happened specifically? Sure. It was a little bit before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we did have an accident where a truck um, hit a power pole, uh, resulting in a downed power line, which uh, caused a, a brush fire, which is uh, back here behind us at the uh, solid transfer station. And um, as a result, power was out. But again, um, electric crews couldn't restore the power until that fire was taken care of. And, and the fire department is still continuing to work on getting this fire completely extinguished, uh, which you can see behind us. Understood. Thank you very much for that, Cody. Um, I think everybody's kind of wondering right now, uh, power is obviously off in some areas of town. It's been restored in others. Uh, about where are those lines at? Who's got power? Who doesn't? And about how long is it going to take for it to be restored? Sure. Uh, so um, I will say most of uh, city residents are, are back up and, and, and have electricity. Uh, the substation over here is the only substation that's currently down. Um, and uh, just, stopped, just spoke with the electric crews probably another hour to hour and a half before we have uh, it up and operational and power restored to everybody. But again, um, the portion uh, over here by Galloway Park, uh, City Hall, is still without power. So um, things that are directly powered by uh, the airport substation, um, still without power. But again, an hour, hour and a half, we should be uh, full power across the city. All right. Cool deal. Now, um, obviously, uh, it just means you're going to have to kind of sit tight in a lot of situations whenever it comes to the power. However, uh, conditions will be very hot out there. Yeah. Obviously, we're under heat advisories yeah. at the moment. Absolutely. Very hot temperatures, very dry. Um, yeah. We do have cooling centers in the area. You want to give us some sure. more information on that? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, residents, um, over the over the weekend, especially if, if uh, you're out and about and you, you need a place to cool down, uh, feel free to stop by the public library uh, during business hours, um, Civic Center during business hours. Um, any uh, any public building is um, uh, you, you're welcome to come in and, and cool off, and of course you can visit our, our local retailers. You know, I'm sure I'm sure they'd love to see you. <laughs> All right, well, you heard it first here, everybody. Uh, that's kind of the idea. So what we've got going on with uh, the accident that's happened in town here, um, I would say uh, just try to stay safe, stay cool, and stay away from Old Airport Road. Would you say? <laughs> yeah, please uh, please avoid the area until further notice. Right. Thank you much, Cody. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. Have a good one. You too.